Anyway, let's move on to 1971, six years before Rankin Bass's The Hobbit, and seven before Bakshi's Lord of the Rings, for what, as far as I've been able to find, is the first ever filmed adaptation of Fellowship, and the first of many foreign language productions we'll be covering today. A Swedish film called Sagan und Ringen. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it translates to Saga of the Ring. This two-part production for Swedish television was directed by Bo Hansen based on his own album, Music Inspired by the Lord of the Rings. So I guess this is technically as much a music video for a concept album as it is a book adaptation. You can kind of tell. It's kind of an abstract visual representation of the story, but it's certainly creative. There are hand-painted backgrounds with the occasional bit of live action blue screened on, and it also cuts to what appears to be stock footage in the middle. It feels like a kid show, humans in a cartoon storybook world, like a proto Blue's Clues or Well 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 with Slim Goodbody. Again, am I just old? There's also no diegetic sound, it's just voiceover narration as we watch silent footage and, you know, the actors all have an interesting look about them. They all kind of look like they're mumbling their way through something, and the very calm narrator is explaining the world-ending stakes of everything they're discussing. Ja, Frodo. Ringen du håller i fick den allra största makten. Därför kallas den mesta ringen och härskar över dem alla. Also, despite the chroma key, zero attempt is made to make the hobbits smaller than the other folk, which will be a trend in a lot of these productions. Mitt under festen gjorde Bilbo sig osynlig. I like how nobody even notices Bilbo disappearing from his own party. That's the ultimate dream, ghosting a party and nobody cares. You're looking at the master of leaving parties early. Who knew Bilbo was both Tim Canterbury and Jim Halpert? That is an abnormally large ring. I don't know if they're playing to the cheap seats or if it's like meant to be a prop in a 3D movie. I'm pretty sure that basically every single filmed adaptation of Fellowship skips the fact that Mary joins up with Frodo, Sam, and Pippin later. Also, the hobbits all appear to be completely different ages, which is not inaccurate, but I don't think Sam should look like everyone else's dad. Despite both parts together totaling less than half an hour, they cover a lot of the journey to Rivendell. They skip Farmer Maggot and the Barrow Whites, but they include Gildor's tribe, Old Man Willow, Tom Bombadil, meeting Aragorn at the Prancing Pony, and they describe the attack at Weathertop in narration, even though they don't show it. And as far as I found, this is the only filmed depiction of Glorfindel. You don't have to tell me that. We then get the Council of Elrond, where Gandalf tells about being held by Saruman. We don't see Saruman, but we see Gwahir, played by stock footage of a real eagle, and we see Gandalf superimposed under him in one very brief shot. Don't blink, you'll miss it. And we see Shadowfax. Skogfaxe kallar männen i Rohan honom för. Det bestämdes att nio personer skulle ge sig av till eldsbrutande berget i Mordor. Och kasta ner ringen i domedagsklyftan. De som skulle följa med Frodo blev Sam, Mary och Pippin och Gandalf. Av alverna valdes Legolas och Gimli gick för dvärgarna och vidstige för människorna. That doesn't add up to nine. Did Boromir die already? But in covering basically all of book one and the first two chapters of book two in under half an hour, it naturally rushes through points, so there's no time to dwell on characters' emotions or their journey. Basically, the only emotional beats come in the House of Elrond, where Frodo is in awe of how old Elrond and Gandalf are, and when Sam beats himself up for not bringing rope. It's not a very character-driven version of the story. But, you know, it's more faithful to the plot points of its book than the Rembrandt Hobbit was, and it's an interesting look, once again, at the tale being, like, retold throughout the ages. In this case, literally, because this is an adaptation of an album that was inspired by the book. And it's interesting seeing other cultures take on this story. 